You're on. Hi, I have a surprise <laughs> for you. My sister Anne, who is becoming the most famous writer in the family with this book. Let's drive here in person with her book. My <laughs> own book. Isn't this wonderful? I, I have driven at least 2,000 miles to get here. With a one-legged man <laughs> at the wheel. Yeah. You're a brave one. I am. Did may you, I, may I say worried? one thing? I'd like to say one thing. We're going to make a movie out of that. <laughs> we should. That's the truth. <laughs> Tell me how you're your one-legged driver. Is he uh, I, scary? Well, no, he's just very good. Oh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> he just drives down the road just like he was driving a truck. And well, that's he wasn't a truck driver. That's <laughs> a truck driver. A always a truck driver. Oh, yeah. no. Exactly. <laughs> Did you ever imagine you would be uh, with a one-legged no. driver? No. <laughs> Driving oh. 2,000 miles. Well, keep that there. Phoenix. Keep that there and tell us about some of your Phoenix. adventures. Is it selling well? It's sold out. That's the problem. And, and I am <laughs> now writing a poem, and it's called uh, I Know That I Am Getting Old, But I Love to Ride on American Road. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> one legged driver at the wheel. <laughs> With one legged driver at the wheel. <laughs> and it's sponsored by Mobile, Exxon, and Big Mac trucks. Yeah, right. <laughs> and and I, I know every truck stop that he's ever stopped in from, from Utah to Texas to Phoenix. Ooh! We went through El Paso. On the Phoenix. Ah, El Paso. Oh, yes. Well, you said that your son has a new business. Oh, a bit place of business. No, what is it's, it? It's it's a he's a truck a pickup bedliner, and he'll do oh. any kind of design on the truck. Also, he's oh know. a painted oh yeah. He's using his artwork. Well, how's it going? Well, he uh, his grand opening is Saturday. He's oh. just barely getting started, so. Oh. So this is a, just a new venture. I don't know how it'll work out. It may work out really, really <laughs> well. I don't know. Her but, son in Texas. Well, that's my son in Texas. Yes. Now my sister's a talker, so I don't need to do the talking. <laughs> oh, this she can, be, she's this be really funny now. <laughs> like because. I do with you. You know, he sits there. Uh, uh, I'm getting sauce. <laughs> getting sauce together. By the time I've I've said six things. And he said, why don't you just leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, anyway, tell us. Uh, you've sold out of your first... Uh, uh, yes, I've sold out of a hundred. I've ordered the second hundred. And then oh. I'm going to do <laughs> something in the newspaper then. Uh, because I haven't had enough books to get into anything. So. Uh, the county news, right? Yes. How many people in your town where you live? Oh, about um, a thousand. Maybe uh, just 12, a thousand. Just a hundred. And this is the lady that I talk a lot about, I think in my videos, or maybe not, uh, who goes to funerals all the time with yes. her husband. Have you been to any good funerals lately? Well, yes! <laughs> I went to my sister-in-law's funeral, and he went also. Uh, you the one, <laughs> the one like the man went to his sister-in-law's funeral, and also to his cousin's funeral. And you enjoyed it thoroughly, right? Oh yes, definitely. I don't know how you enjoy funerals so much, you know. <laughs> I told her, I said, listen, I didn't go have, when you have. 99 first cousins, as Tom does, just in the Reynolds family, just Reynolds, there is a lot of funerals. To go to. <laughs> I, you're not kidding. But I told her, just as I did go to my sister's funeral a few months ago, and, and she everybody is still, is still mad. mad. She and I told her, her, I said, don't, sister. I'm not going to. Risk my life going to your funeral, so just forget it. And, <laughs> <laughs> and well, if your I family gets mad, listen, I know you will. <laughs> I know that you won't be to my funeral <laughs> <laughs> because you'll be sick right at that. <laughs> I'll get sick. You know? Yeah, you'll get sick, so you 
won't have to go to my funeral. I mean, I'm, I'm not old enough. Either, okay. <laughs> One of these jaws could kill me. <laughs> Those people don't have any consideration. They want me to die. She, they think that the go to She doesn't believe that she can ride a mere 600 miles. <laughs> To a dentist's funeral. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I don't go to these people's funerals here if I don't feel like it. Most of the time I don't feel like it. Oh. I'm not into funerals. Please. <laughs> I'm not even going to Would you to my please own. warn all your kids? Don't expect that, Jerry. Don't expect that. Don't worry. She's not going to have a funeral. <laughs> you don't have to go oh, to Oh, John, you don't have to go to mine at all. There won't even be any. <laughs> there will be no funeral. I, uh, my so, request, if those damn kids sneak one in, it won't. It won't. I, I, they, won't be, they won't be worth it. Nobody will even come. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We already got it. <laughs> well, could we get, get a shoebox, right? We, <laughs> we won't even get a shoebox. There'll be nothing to. Don't yeah, be nice. She won't even. <laughs> well, <laughs> we did have one for Lorraine, and she was wet the yeah. same But look at all so. the trouble you've had trying to get down to Phoenix. It's taken you years to get back. I here. know. It's terrible. So, how? I couldn't expect you to come to my school. Right. It'd probably kill you and Tom both. Well, it, it definitely <laughs> killed him. <laughs> Nothing can kill yeah. him. But you won't be here to visit. Why do I want to come to <laughs> I just want to come as a, to visit. Forget the funerals. Oh. But in Utah, they have a different attitude toward funerals. They live for them, right? They're, That's right. <laughs> hey, our dad went to my funeral. funeral. We had a funeral. <laughs> that, that's the only what, thing he went attended. He never went to church. He never went to. And he got all his he preaching. Uh, he got all the preaching he needed in the uh, funeral. In funeral, right? Mm -hmm. Because they, uh, the bishops and anybody that gets to talk, you know, in their remarks, they see the people there that need preaching to that never show up, and so they give them a sermon. And I don't, <laughs> don't think that doesn't make them all mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had the nerve to tell me, to tell our. I know. I've heard him. <laughs> I know. It. But yeah. she is a funeral expert. I know that. Oh yes. When the the worst experience I had at a funeral is when, let's see, there was they had a crash and five of the family members died. The only one that lived was a child, and the bishop got up and said that they that it was because of the way they live. <laughs> So many died at once. It's a wonder what I'm going to get up and kill him. Oh, they felt like it. And also, the bishop was was related to us. Remember that? Everybody's related in your part Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me our, that bishop. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, was related to oh, you. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> I'm not going to any funeral he teaches. He, but anyway, she's got me. lots of... Uh, prime time uh, stories like that in her book uh, connected to all these places in Utah. Actually, I have no funeral stories, but Edward, I mean, uh, Everett Roos, and, and that's because he just disappeared. And then I got Dean in there because he disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> in the desert. Yeah. In, yeah. In, to in, desert. They just left. This Glanny guy <laughs> disappeared, so... Uh, so but anyway, uh, well, we make a lot of jokes. Raymond had a singing group that he called, we put, he advertised us, we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> that was, and then he, they said, and he probably went and did that. <laughs> they the thought, bridges. yeah, if they thought they needed to, him to sing at a funeral, he'd drive. Oh, 600 miles. He's a, he's a great funeral <laughs> tender. Yeah, he'll go. He'll go even if he has to push his old truck up the road. I'm, I'm getting to my Aunt Margie's funeral. She <laughs> is right. He represented me. <laughs> he did. He, he represented you. <laughs> yeah. oh, boy. Well, he said he put some fun in funerals. <laughs> well, he should get free food, don't you? <laughs> Oh, he got his free food. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see, Ann. Do you have to go? Do you have to go? Oh, my God. It, you have to go. Oh, you got 45 more minutes. No. No. 
Yeah, I have 45 more minutes is all she's got with well, us. She's on schedule. You mean we're uh, doing this video for 45 <laughs> more minutes? <laughs> Oh, no, no. I like to keep it under 15. Oh, uh, how, uh, we got, how much time we got? Five? I haven't been paying attention to it. Oh, how could you? You expect me to keep a track of the time along with thinking up something to say? That because never this, you. this book is choice. Never this slows is choice you down before. And rentals. Yes. So if you order it, and oh, let me tell you, the reason why the relatives who published this book in the Boulder Foundation let it get past us because they had my mom stories to contend with. They said, well, Anne's a lot milder than Jerry, so we'll it publish It's pretty her. bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been the sister that was kind of bad, but not very bad as... <laughs> <laughs> well, see, now, that was fortunate for you. <laughs> well, that's what I wrote to write is shocking, unacceptable, yeah. and, well, I, I know, and ultimately I have not only go to the funerals, I speak in all the funerals. <laughs> what? They, they ask you to speak well, my, nowadays? My gosh, I've, t I've talked in Helen's funeral, in Penny's funeral, in Donna's <laughs> funeral, in... Uh, and, she's, uh, and this is just her husband's family. This is my... yeah. Well, what, what, what we about, haven't even gotten to my family. What about the uh, two girls that used to sing all the time when they would go around? Oh, here? they sing still. They are, they're not 110 years they're old. They're the sister. Oh, yeah. yeah, they are. They're, you know. they're about that. They're, they're older than I am. So. Well, as I said, and about it, uh, You know, when they're, uh, they're and they best. carry a tune together well, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they do the best they can. Their best friend's uh, father requested they not be allowed to see them. <laughs> <laughs> so you should have seen them, how they had to try to excuse themselves. Well, don't you, won't you tell us what you want us to see? <laughs> uh, well, well, Dad, uh, uh, he said that he just wanted a great side <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people get ordered to do things in funerals. <laughs> don't have the singing sisters singing my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, I hope nobody dies while you're gone and you miss it. Well, I <laughs> certainly hope so. How long has it meant that you true. missed a funeral? I <laughs> have never missed it. <laughs> She's never missed one. I don't miss funerals. <laughs> I know. You and Rowan, you come. <laughs> there we well, go. We, know, and we, get, we tend to all the you know, funerals. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't get reservations for two you know? Front uh, seat. <laughs> Uncle Charlie's going to die in two weeks. And you know, he's going to die, so make sure you're up there. Oh, listen, they appreciate their best funeral goers. She's always here. Well, you know. Oh. I've never seen anything like it. That funeral, uh, uh. Well, Alfred Al Al Jepson, he told me that I'd better be that tip for his funeral. <laughs> Get people ask her to be to their funeral. <laughs> but don't ask Aunt Jerry. <laughs> she won't come. She won't come. <laughs> Even if she's asked. Forget her. Well, I think what Jerry's trying to say is don't ask Jerry because I don't want her there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right. <laughs> she missed Mom's funeral, so she's just out. <laughs> Oh, well, I never forgot Sturdy, who, who was only 51, and he uh, he struggled, uh, you know, he did go to the hospital like he was supposed to and went to his dad's funeral and died the next day. Yeah. <laughs> that he was died a, dancing uh, down at the, down the cafe. Well, yeah, he I thought understand. he should be having a good time. Yeah. They have a good time at the funerals. Well, that's they, right. It's, it's to celebrate, uh, you know. It, you heard that old attitude about, well, I'm going to dance on your grave. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll be with you in two minutes. <laughs> that's right. I'm with you. Oh, think of that poor old. I said, now that's not going to happen in my case, you know, so just forget it. <laughs> so I hope you take this message back to Utah. Oh, I will. And all your family warn them, don't expect it. Well, listen, mm -hmm. I will. I know they'll, they'll say, no matter what I say, they'll just say, well. 
<laughs> she, she didn't make it tomorrow. She was her best friend. <laughs> Boy. At <laughs> least she could have done it. At the least, the very least. 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 Very neat. What kind of card? Uh, you know, I'm going to try to make up for it on my Christmas cards. I'm going to write a, uh, uh, you know, a comfort card in my Christmas. Do you oh. think that'll make up yeah. for it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It will now. It's been covered about 60 yeah. years yeah. right there. You I think, think I should not for the next 10 years. I you think, think I've aged since you saw me last? I, I look pretty old. No, I think you look younger. <laughs> Well, he's having me wear my hair like this, you know, besides I can't cut it because it'll get my neck cold, so. <laughs> and look at her, she's got a decent, short. Right. Uh, so, I can, so I can ride two I look like some old hippie to match to, him. And I don't even have to comb it. <laughs> right, right. I don't right. comb mine either. I don't comb mine very much either, but the stringy old hippie style oh, he yeah. likes. Mm -hmm. He keeps telling me how bad I look when I, it was shorter, so now. Mm -hmm. And I thought, he likes it like this. Well, I, yeah. I just can't believe it. it. Well, I quite like it too. <laughs> this is not an old like lady hair. Like I said, you, you got younger. Oh, oh but man. don't mistake <laughs> this hairdo for me. I am truly decrepit, so you know. Um, well, when I get creeping out of the car, I think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Well, okay then, Anne. I think it's time for us to call a halt and go up to my apartment and check it out. And okay. okay. You like, you like, you, this might be interesting. Bye bye, everybody. Isn't this a great visit? Did you bring this down? Yeah, I did. Oh. Uh, the book, Let's Drive, and My Famous Sister. And yes. Reynolds, the writer. Like I say, who has driven 2,000 miles to get to Phoenix. <laughs> yes.